Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic as far as your UGC net exams are concerned. So this has been included in your new syllabus. So there are very high chances of getting the question from this particular topic. So before discussing the what the critical path method is, I'll tell you what the critical path means. So critical path uh, is the sequential activities from start to the end of a project. Although many projects have only one critical path and some projects may have more than one critical path, depending on the flow logic used in the project. And if there is delay in any of the activities under the critical path, there will be delay in the whole project. So most of the time, if such delay is occurred, project acceleration or resequencing is done in order to achieve the deadline. Now what uh, the CPM means? You know, critical path method, you can define it as a mathematically ordered network of planning and scheduling the project management, or you can say that it is a project modeling technique. And it was developed in late 1950s by Morgan and James. Initially, this method was used for managing the plant maintenance projects, although the original method is used for the construction work. You know, critical path analysis is commonly used with all the forms of the projects, including the construction, aerospace, defense. You can even use it for the software development, research products, uh, product uh, development, engineering, and among others. So any project with the interdependent activities can apply this method of mathematical analysis. So as far as uh, the features of the CPM are concerned. In order to achieve the full advantage of CPM, the model of the project is to be created, and that's the four most important. And all the, uh, and list of all the activities to be performed must be completed, and this is called as the work breakdown structure. And every individual activity needs to be identified, and the next step is to figure out which steps are interdependent or interrelated with each other. So this basically helps to determine the exact time and date when the different uh, activities of the project should be started or completed. So in order that the project should take shape and the managers are able to you know, better monitor the start and completion of the project. Overall, the best advantage of this method is that it has an ability to speed up or slow down the processes of the project. That is according to the requirement, whether you want to speed up the project or you want to slow down the project. So if anyone wants to speed up the project or program, they may add on to the resources and these resources can be a material or a non-material. So this is, you know, added obviously to the time taken to complete the project or complete the particular activity that will be reduced. Now, whenever the project manager is using the CPM and uh, wants to use it in a full potential, then the project manager should also include actual uh, you know, actual materials which will go into the process. So if an individual or any organization include the time, the material will be shipped or received or whatever will be the time gap in having those materials with us. So the critical path method further helps us to determine the start of the project. This means once you have project material, only then you will be able to start the project. And if you want that particular project to be completed, then you need to have the resources beforehand. Now, uh, the benefits of this method are, you know, uh, the CPM model, it provides us a graphical view of the project. It also predicts the time that's required to complete the project. And it also shows the activities that are critical to maintaining the schedule and which are not. Now, the most important thing in the CPM is the project network. You know, this project network can be constructed to the model, you know, the preferences of the activities. And here, if you see the arcs, these arrows, they are, are called the arcs in this project network diagram. And, uh, you know, they represent the activities. And here, all the activities have been represented uh, with the alphabets like activity A, B, C, D, and E. And these circles, these are called the nodes in this diagram and they represent the start and the end of the activity. Basically, CPM is used for scheduling the project activities. Like, so at node one, like activity A will be started and will be completed at 
node 2. So in this particular diagram, this is a very basic diagram, uh, there are so many activities, like there are various activities and all activities have a name like A, B, C, D and E. So here we have the five activities and these activities are interrelated with each other. So all these activities are interrelated with each other and need to be executed in order to complete the project. For example, if I say I want to construct a ball, so there are certain activities that go on, go on in constructing the wall. So the first activity will be our like building a wall or constructing a wall and second will be like applying the plaster to it and third will be like applying the framework to it and fourth will be like you know painting the wall. So what I want to clear here is that all activities are interrelated and you just can't start you know painting without uh, applying the framer or the plaster to the wall. So here you need to you know uh, follow a series and all activities are done one after the another. So suppose activity A uh, it's starting at uh, 1 and ends at 2 and the whole project gets completed after the completion of the activity 3, 4 or the activities D, E and all are completed at node 5. So one more thing that you need to remember is that you can't start this method in a reverse order and here you have to follow a series in a forward order and uh, you know and you can't just uh, start with uh, two without finishing the one so you can only start two after finishing the activity one so i think i should stop here you know it's getting too long tomorrow uh, in our next lecture we'll discuss on the steps in the cpm project planning we'll discuss on the steps and we will also discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this Till then, uh, take your good care and have a great day. Thank you.